Hello, here's a quick demo of how to install and use the con VCDA content pack for Login site. First, we'll start by installing the content pack in Login site server. Log into your con Login site server and go to content packs. Select import content pack, browse for your content pack file and select import. Okay, as you can see, the import is successful. We have VMware Cloud Director Availability Content Pack installed. Now we need to enable cloud notifications in VCDA. Go to your uh, VCDA server, uh, go to configuration and enable cloud event notifications. Enable syslog events and provide your login site server name or IP address and port. In this case, I will use the IP address. Now let's go back to the login site and see the dashboards. As you can see, the dashboards are under VMware Cloud Director Availability. So far we have four dashboards, VCA overview, where we see the New replications, replications grouped by organizations, uh, failed replications, deleted, test failovers, and etc. Uh, also, we have uh, replications grouped by protections or migrations, which are VCDA protection dashboard and VCDA migration dashboard. Again, you can see the number of uh, protections, protections over time and grouped by uh, organizations. Same goes for VCDA migration dashboard. In the VCDA problems dashboard, you see the most common problems in VCDA. If we run the uh, problems, VCDA problems query, you see whether it has results or not. Since I selected a quite big uh, time window, if I select for the last 24 hours, for example, not all of them, uh, not all of them will have uh, results. If you want to see more details, you can click on the query and you see that we had an error that VCDA failed to connect to VCloud Director server. If we go back to dashboards. In the problems, you see failed replications over time, replications with errors, and RPO violations. Now let's go back go to interactive analysis and select manage alerts. Let's filter for VCDA. And you see all of the VMware Cloud Director availability content pack alerts. You can select all of them or any of them and enable them. You can choose where Killer should send an email, webhook, or send it to VRLIS operations manager if it's integrated with WogInsight. Also, you can edit any of the alert and change its setting. As of now, all of the alerts are configured to raise the alert on any match, but you can change that. The last thing that I want to show is the agents config configuration. Go to administration, agents, and select the VCDA agent configuration. You'll see that uh, we have an agent configuration which will get uh, the logs from major replicator or tunnel, tunnel plans and it will parse them and send them to the login site server. In order for this to work, you need to download the login site agent and install it on each uh, VCDA server. Uh, point 
the uh, agent to send the uh, logs to the proper login site server. And the last thing that you need to do is uh, configure a agent group. So you select the VCDA agent template and you copy that, give it the name, group, and you need to filter only the VCDA servers. In my case, I will use IP addresses. I need to provide all of the IP addresses of the VCDA servers. Click the refresh, and as you can see, I filtered only the manager tunnel and replicator in my case. All I have to do is save the group and the agent configuration will be applied on those three servers. If you don't want to manage the config from the one inside server, you can always copy the configuration and manually apply it on configuration file of the login site server, of the login site agent, sorry. Thank you.